What's up, what's up, what's up? It's your boy, the network. I'm not on time with that one, but. And today's topic for the CCMP route exam is MSS, which stands for Maximum Segment Size. This is on the subsection, section 1.4 of the exam, Explain TCP Operations. Uh, shout out to your boy, DeWan Lightfoot, for the Lab Everyday shirt. This is not a shirt that I just wear every day and just representing this community. This is uh, something, you know, go ahead and look up the hashtag on Twitter. You'll, you'll see what it's about. It's, it's just the movement of labbing every day and just, you know, ingraining these concepts and get them stuck in your mind, basically. We are at MSS. Prior to this, we was doing MTU, Path MTU Discovery. And after this, we're going to do Latency. We're going to talk about latency, and just slowness and stuff like that. Boy, if you get into networking, that's going to be one of your number one or number two complaints. I'm going to tell you right now. Let's go ahead and start off with discussing MSS, which stands for, again, maximum segment size. MSS is basically, it's kind of like MTU. You remember in a, in a couple videos back, I don't remember how many videos back it was, but MTU stands for maximum transmission unit, which is... Uh, the size of the biggest size of packet you can see in the layer three level maximum segment size. Now, when we dealing with layer four, we dealing with segments, which is a part of a packet, but it's encapsulated in a packet. And I'm gonna you know go over it in another slide. But now we're not dealing with just packets; we dealing with segments. And MSS is the maximum segment size you can send in a link. You can also modify it. We'll discuss that later on as well. All right, moving on with the show. Commands we're going to go over today is just one command. It's simple. It's just like modifying the, uh, the MTU. We just go in the interface and just type in this command. But I'm going to go into GNS3 and show it to y'all anyway. We're going to try to get this in and out. Uh, so let's go ahead and move on. So this is the official definition right here. Yes, again, Wikipedia. But I also got a little you know tidbit from your boy, Kevin Wallace, your boy at uh, Cisco Press. He is a three, I think, two times CCIE. He got his own training courses and stuff like that. If you start studying Cisco networking, you heard of this dude. Anyway, MSS, again, is maximum segment size. It's a parameter of the options field. Y'all remember the options field, right? Well, actually, I don't think we went over it. Uh, however, if you were studying the CCNA, you know that there is a TCP header. There's also an IP header. And the options field is... There is an options field in the TCP here. This guy right here. So don't get these two confused now. This is the IP header right here. For now, we moving on to TCP operations. This is the TCP header. And the MSS value is located in the options field, which is circled right here at the bottom. Now, see, there's, there's, this is the, again, this is the TCP header right here. That's the IP header. For now, we moving on to TCP. So we going over the MSS value which is in the options field of the TCP header. I'll show y'all that a little bit more of that later as well. Again, maximum segment size is a parameter of the options field in the TCP header that specifies the largest amount of data specified in bytes that a computer or a communications device can receive in a single TCP segment. It sounds pretty similar to the MTU, don't it? And, but again, MTU is something that you go over in the layer three in the layer three portion of the OSI model. The MSS and segments are something we deal at the layer four level. It does not count the TCP header or IP header, unlike, for example, the MTU for IP datagrams. Now, I reiterated this again, because the way Kevin Wallace broke it down at the bottom right here, where you see it say, no, he explains it again. And, and that's the reason why I wanted to take this little tidbit. He says, the term maximum segment size seems to imply the entire layer four segment. That's layer two, layer three, and layer four headers. So all of that encapsulated. I'm going to go ahead and show y'all. This is the entire packet, right? Or the entire frame, really. You got layer two with the Ethernet header. And the IP header is encapsulated in all of that, right? The TCP header is encapsulated in that. And then the data is, is within that. So it's like when we send in an envelope, I use these envelopes usually with a stamp. You kind of like open it up, see what's inside. Open that up, see what's inside. Open that up, see what's inside. You keep doing that from layer two, layer three, layer four, all the way down to even layer seven of the OSI model. If you need to refresh on that, this is the seven layers of the OSI model right here. But again, if you study in CCMP, I'm 
pretty sure you, you know, this is just re, this is kind of a refresher because this is all CCNA, CCE, and T topics. We're not going to go too much into that, but as you can see right here, TCP is in the transport layer, layer four, right? IP and packets is layer three. TCP and segments is layer four, all right? If you want a little bit more, frames and uh, Ethernet, that's layer two. Obviously, that's layer one, and you keep going up, right? For now, we doing TCP operations. All right, let's move on because we uh, we approaching uh, six minutes now. Anyway, so yeah, the term maximum segment size seems to imply the entire layer four segment. That is layer two, layer three, and layer four, but it don't. MSS only refers to the amount of data in a segment. So back to this PowerPoint, the MSS refers to this right here in the orange, not the entire packet, just the orange, not the TCP right here, right here at the bottom where it says TCP maximum segment size. It's just referring to the data payload, really. And really, to modify it, remember in the MTU video, we modifying the MTU size, which includes the IP header, right? This right here in the green. So when we modify the MTU size, you kind of slide this window down. You kind of slide that window down with the with the maximum segment size, you kind of modifying this line right here down. You're kind of moving that up and down if you want to. And we're going to go over why you would want to do that. And I'm going to show you how to do that in Cisco IOS as well. This is another slide that I have found. The source is at the bottom. This kind of explains it as well. I know in the uh, fragmentation videos and the uh, prior videos of this, I said that MTU includes 1480 bytes plus the 20 byte IP header, right? Which is right here on the left hand side, right here on the left hand side. Forget about this guy right here, because we're not doing layer two. This is Ethernet. That's you want to study more of that? That's in the switch exam. We right now we study layer three and layer four. So we not including well, we including the IP header, but when we referring to again, when we referring to the maximum segment size, we referring to just the payload, not including the TCP header. So this kind of, you know, you look at this little uh, slide right here, go ahead and pause it if you want to. That kind of breaks down what is being sent when you send a, a frame. And then, you know, all of that is encapsulated. All of your data right here in the board says payload. That's your actual data, your email, your, um, you know, an image that you sent. That's actually right there where it says payload. All this other stuff is where to send it to and uh, at the layer three and layer two level, etc. FCS's frame check sequence. That's the check for errors and stuff like that. We're not going over that either. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, I think I got GNS3 already up. We're going to go over this command. It's real simple. Again, you go to the interface, you put that command. I'll show y'all anyway. Um, this sets the MSS size of IP packets sent on an interface on IPv4 traffic or for IPv4 traffic. So let's go ahead and get the GNS3. This is the topology, something real simple. We just, we, I really didn't need to, need to create that. We just going to, we just console in the one router right here, which is router one. And there's that guy right there. Matter of fact, that, that was it right there anyway. So we, I'm gonna get it, just start from the beginning. You just configure terminal interface, and then we doing it for uh, you see this guy right here where it says router one. We just doing it for this link right here. We changing the MTU. I mean, I'm not the MTU size, but the maximum segment size. Again, you not it's not the MTU. You kind of sliding the uh, you kind of making you trying changing the size of the maximum segment. Not the MTU, which is maximum transmission unit, which is at layer three, which includes the IP header. This does not include the IP and TCP header, just the data payload. And I'm going to show you all again, just as a recap, this guy right here, this line right here is what you kind of sliding up and down whether you need to for, for whatever reason. So, yeah, fast Ethernet. That was fast Ethernet, the zero, zero. All right. Um, zero, zero. And then it's simple. IP. Uh, IP TCP adjust MSS value. That's it. And then you put the size you want. You can do it as low as 500 bytes or 1460 bytes. 
Simple as that. Let's just do uh, for now. We're gonna do 850. Again, you wanna uh, verify that you do a show run. Remember last time I tried to pipe it and uh, I, I didn't even go over what what the real command to pipe it down to. Pipe it down. Pause. <laughs> Hold on. We are gonna go to uh, setting for uh, FA00 and there it is right there. We just adjusted it to 850. Now, why would you want to do that? If your performance is degraded, you've been realizing that you're getting some fragmentation, some some bites are bigger, are bigger than you thought, and, and they start to fragment. Remember, we don't want fragmentation. We want to send, we want to look for the, uh, we want to do path meth, uh, path into you discovery and not break our fragments. We want, to we want to maximize the size of our links. And adjusting the MSS value is one way you could do that. You can't, obviously, it says right here, you can't increase the, the uh, 1500 bytes, right? Because that's the most we can send. So since we can't, we can't adjust this value, we can adjust that value right here. I'm hoping y'all can see that. Yeah. So you can you can't adjust this value. It's 1500 bytes, but you can adjust that value right there, your MSS value. And that's why you would want to do that. If you're seeing some degrading uh, performance, any kind of congestion, any kind of slowness. This is one way you could do that. You just got to kind of be careful because you got to know the right size of MSS value. There's a whole bunch of tools you could do that. I think you can go to like speedguide.net or something like that. I'll find, I'll do a little bit more research and I'll put it in the links below. Um, and I think that's about it. Go ahead, like, comment, subscribe. If you got some more input for me, go ahead and put that in the comments below. And thank you for subscribing to the network, bro. I ain't do that right. I, I gotta, I gotta learn how to cue this. I gotta learn how to stop my, uh, my, uh, recording too.